Now that we've finished constructing our flowers and let them sit for a couple hours so that the glue dries, we can start the fun part, the painting. Now this is where you can be really creative. Lilies come in a whole bunch of different colors. You've probably seen the orange ones growing along the side of the road. You can paint them like that. Or you might even have some lilies growing in your yard and they come in all different colors. There's pink and white, yellow and white with little black polka dots in there. Just pink. You can be creative and paint them whatever color you want. I'm gonna start with painting this one white so I'm going to start painting. We're going to get every edge. Paint the whole thing. Make sure you get in all the little creases. And paint the whole thing, the inside. This white's pretty close to the gray. So if you don't have any paint at home, you can even leave it this color. You could add some polka dots with your markers or you could use some watercolor paint, whatever you have at home. I happen to be using acrylic, but you can use whatever you have. Tempera paint would work too. Whatever you have, you can try. So let's paint the whole thing, get all the surfaces. And the whole back. Make sure you get in there. Just a couple of bags here. But you can be as creative as you want. You can paint dots on there or stripes or whatever colors you want. Okay. You can kind of flip them around a little bit. Get in there. Okay. Now that the whole thing's painted, then I'm going to add my little polka dots to the center. You can either use a thin paintbrush, or even if you have a, a toothpick around, you can use that to add it. So just, I'm just going to dip that in some brown paint. I'm just going to add little dots right in the inside. Add a whole bunch. It adds a nice little finishing touch. And a lot of lilies have these little polka dots in there. Each petal gets some, even these ones in the back. And flip that down. Put it in there. Okay, so that's our lily. And no flowers complete without its green stem, so I'm going to paint that next. I'm going to hold it from the bottom. And paint that. Okay. I'm going to set that one aside. Then we're going to paint a tulip next. So I'm going to take that, and I'm going to start with yellow as my base color for my tulip. Let's paint the whole thing, the outside and the inside, and get the, our edges. Tulips also come in a wide variety of flowers. There's yellow ones, red ones, pink ones, white ones. There's even black ones, which are really dark purple. I love those. I think they're so pretty. I have a bunch of these growing out in my yard. Okay. Once that's all yellow, I'm going to make sure all the edges are done, and my inside. Okay. And I'm going to switch to my smaller paintbrush, and I'm going to take some red and paint the edges of my tulip with that, and I'm going to kind of feather that down. If your yellow is still wet, that's good because it kind of blends it together. I'm going to paint the edges, each petal. A little red. Okay. And I'm going to add a little more in this some on this edge. Do these inside panels. And then you have to get the inside of each petal also. 
Okay, I'm going to add a little extra red at the bottom here, just a little blush coming up from our red. Okay, so uh, that looks pretty. Okay, last but not least, we have our daffodil. So I'm going to use a little more white. And I'm going to paint the outside petals white. A lot of times you see daffodils that the whole thing's yellow, or you see ones that the outside's yellow and the inside's a darker burnt orange color. They come in a whole bunch of different colors. Less colors than lilies, but still a lot. Okay, I'm going to paint these outside petals all white. This one's a little wet, that's why the petal came off there. But it can all be fixed. Okay, make sure you get your edges. Okay, and the back. For now I'm not going to paint the back, but you know to paint the back. But this inside part I'm going to paint yellow. Be careful painting in there. You don't want to get it on your white, but if you do, you can always touch that up later once it's dry. Okay. Paint our stem again. A little more green. I can see where I got a little bit of the yellow on the white paint, so I'm just going to touch that up. Okay. There. Then we have a daffodil. Okay, then you're going to set your flowers aside and let them dry for a couple hours or maybe overnight. And then you're going to want to find a way to display them. You might have a vase at home, or you can use the paper pot that we made in last week's project. For that one, that one's heavy enough, so I just added some shredded paper into there, just so it wouldn't tip over. Or you could use a plastic cup, and in this plastic cup I added some rocks that I found outside, just so it won't tip once you put your flowers in there. And then I'm going to take some shredded paper from my paper shredder. If you don't have a paper shredder, you can just take some newspaper, shred that up, or anything really. Colored paper tissue paper. You could even just ball up tissue paper and put that in there. That's to hold our flowers. So once our flowers are all dry, we're going to start sticking them in here. We'll make a nice arrangement. This way you can bring these pretty flowers into your home. This is another flower you can make. You could make roses. We'd use that same petal technique and you can cut them smaller and start with those and then just work to bigger petals as you work your way out so that so that it looks like that or you can you know pink too you can be as creative as you want your tulips different colors a zinnia this one's just one I did out of all scraps I found it kind of looks like a thistle but it's basically just a fantasy flower so then you just put all of these in here. Got some nice comp complementary colors and contrasting colors, making a nice arrangement. There. So you keep going and just arrange it however you want, however you think it looks best. There's no wrong way to arrange them. Okay. Get them all in there. Looks pretty. So that would be a nice way to bring the spring indoors for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I sure enjoyed making it. And if you like the video, please click like. If you'd like to see our upcoming projects, then click subscribe. And I'll see you next week. Have a great day.